Mm. Just take me out of the ball game. Because no matter how cheesy it is, it's still awesome. Now, this is a movie that might separate a few people. Now, I know in the early 90s there was a lot of really cheesy, bad kid movies. There was those kid in King Arthur's Court or the Rookie of the Year. The Rookie of the Year was bad because it's about some, you remember it was about some kid who twerked his arms so we could throw really fast and then that how they won the last game was just so stupid. Angels in the Outfield has got to be one of my favorite baseball movies ever. I love this movie. It is so nostalgic for me. There are so many reasons why it's nostalgic. Well, for one, that little kid there, that little guy, is Joseph Gordon freaking Levitt. And right here is Tony Danza. These two wouldn't work together for another almost 20, what, 18 years than when they were both in Don John. This movie was fantastic for me as a kid, and I'm watching it now. I, I pretty much had realized, I, I'd watched it a few years ago, but just, there's so many elements to this movie that I f keep forgetting. The very dark aspect of Joseph Gordon-Levitt and his dad, who is basically disowning him through the government. You mean, imagine how absolutely heart-wrenching that is. When I was a kid, I had the misconception that the government was taking him away from his dad. That his dad wasn't a good parent, he wasn't around enough. But then watching it, it's his dad is giving him up. How crappy would you feel if you had that happen to you? But aside from that, the baseball aspect, it's really funny. The dialogue is great. It's a happy-go-lucky 90s movie. It's cheesy. It's ridiculous. There are some moments where you're probably going to do this a few times, but it doesn't matter because the movie, you're still having such a fantastic time. It, it is about angels helping the California angels, and that's something too. Since this movie has come out, the angels uh, have changed their location name two, two times since this movie. Because in this movie, they were the California angels. It's a fantastic movie of nostalgia and just great baseball movie. And, you know, the funny thing is, a lot of people are like, well, you know, it's angels helping a team. Well, what the heck about Field of Dreams, right? Build it and they will come. This is the kids' version, almost. It's still really good. And there's so many people who are in this movie. Like, Adrian Brody's, like, 18 in this. Matthew McConaughey. As I said earlier, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. This movie actually has a lot of guys who would go on to do a lot of different things. And... The film's ending and the score, the da 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 I feel so nostalgic, as I said, I've said so many times I do, but I love the feeling of watching this movie. I don't get feelings like that from many movies anymore, and this is one of those movies that can continue to surprise me and entertain me and give me an emotional feeling that I would think that wouldn't happen, especially for the amount of times that I've watched it. I'm not going to say there aren't any silly scenes. The scene where they make the ball go all around, that scene was stupid. That scene, like, the whole point about the angels is that no one knows, that like, they're kind of sort of on the side. They're not really, you know, being ridiculous. But that scene just like, okay, yeah, you know what, that was really funny on paper. But execution, that was stupid. But in the end, I still really enjoy Angels in the Outfield. Sure, the aspect is cheesy and that some of the execution in areas is a little bit... But the magic that this movie holds, it actually has a bit of movie magic into it. And just the characters, you care about the characters. A very mature aspect of being raised as an orphan and having your father disown you and persevering through these issues. In the end, I wouldn't want anything to change about this movie. I still love it for what it is. I love watching it. I have great nostalgic feels when I watch it. It reminds me of when I was a kid. There's a few homages too to other sports films. Like there's an homage to The Sandlot. That's probably one of the funniest scenes when they make that kid go, run home, run home. Run home, run home. So anyway, my final review for Angels in the Outfield is a 5 out of 7. I am discounting all those little silly parts, but in the end, it's still a great movie to watch. If you've never seen it, watch it. Probably don't watch it on the VHS. You may hate the quality, but uh, 
Yeah. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.